connecting. Yay! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so glad oh, we oh. carry on here. So I'm so here, my niece. I know it didn't take us 15 minutes to figure it out. Oh my goodness. I know this Facebook stuff is a little dicey. I yep. know, right? Oh my goodness. But we managed, we got it together and we've got four people. Let's see. We've got Susan and my daughter, Hannah, my friend, Susan, my dear friend, oh, hi, Susan, Susan. who is an old uh, nice. a friend of mine from when I was a kid, even we've known each other our whole lives. But anyway, so how are you, Carrie? We are here. Good. For I'm good. <laughs> for episode two of Keeping It Sweet. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> We're so excited. Keeping It Sweet is all about focusing on all things essential, simple, and satisfying, since that's yeah. how I keep it sweet. And Carrie is right there with me doing the same thing. And I just want to have my good friend Carrie with me so we can share together how we're keeping it sweet right now. And I hear there's a surprise coming. <laughs> <laughs> we have surprises for each other. We actually talked about this before we got on live and we decided that we weren't gonna tell each other what our surprise was. We were just gonna do it right on live. So neither one of us knows how the other one is keeping it sweet at the moment. Hope it's good. Really <laughs> yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah. There we so go. we're going to go ahead and start with our theme song that I wrote called Keeping It Sweet. And um, there is a blog post on my website that has the lyrics to it if you want to go to my website in the meanwhile to get the lyrics to the song if you want to sing it with us. But anyway, Correct. I'll read it to you out loud so you guys can sing it with us if you want to. Think fun and laughter. That's certainly what we're after. For the satisfied spot in your soul. Sweet spot in our soul. We're keeping it sweet. Yes, we're keeping it sweet for that satisfying sweet spot in our soul. We're keeping it sweet. Yes, we're keeping it sweet. Staying present with that sweet spot in our soul. So we're going to go ahead and sing that. I'm going to play my tambourine. <laughs> my trusty sidekick, as uh, Carrie likes to call it. All right, let's go. Being fun and laughter. That's certainly what we're after. That's that is fun. That is fun. That is For all things all essential. essential. For all things, things simple. For all 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 Keeping it sweet, yes, we're keeping it sweet for that satisfying sweet spot in our soul. Keeping it sweet, keeping it sweet, staying present with that sweet spot in our soul. It brings a smile to my face every time. <laughs> Same thing for me. I'm so glad you like it as much as I do, Carrie. That's so fun. I, I love singing about how we are keeping it sweet and how important it is to keep it sweet. And let me just explain real briefly what that means. When we focus on the things that are essential to us, that are simple for us, and that satisfy us, that's a sweet spot. Yep. And so today... I'm going to let Carrie share first this time around. She's going to get to Ooh. share her sweet spot right now and tell me what, how she's keeping it sweet. Yep, I'm going to let her go first. <laughs> My, uh, let's see. This actually happened last week, but I am still, it is still a sweet spot for me. I'm still working on it. I had uh, my aunt come and visit me, whom has not gotten to come visit in a very long time. I was so happy to see her. She brought sunshine. It was a great day to come visit. And she brought me family pictures. Ah. And it is just, I have, I have another uh, smaller sweet spot, but this is still ongoing. Oh, yes. Um, yes. Because as a kid, you know, if you have the chance to your grandparents, which some don't, but if you did, then obviously they're, you're, they're coming into your life when they're old. No offense. It just is how it is. And so you build that in your mind that, that that's Gramps, you know, and so to have, or Grammy. And so to have a chance to go through these boxes of 
pictures from when he was growing up before I knew him kind of helped to Am I back? Okay. No, yeah, you're on. You're on. Sorry about that. I was commenting on something. Uh, go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. Um, <laughs> it just gave me a chance to just see him as more of a, a, a more rounded sense of who he was mm. since um, I only had him until I was like 11 or 12. So I didn't have him very long. And obviously I only knew him as an old man. Um, but some of these pictures are just so cute. Oh, of my uh, oh my goodness. Oh, precious. <laughs> that is so precious. Just little outfits. <laughs> you know what's such great? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Aww. And these are on a postcard, by the way. I didn't know. But when you went and had your picture done, you could have it as a, just a regular or they would put it on a postcard. Not that I can imagine spending that kind of money and, and then mailing it away, but <laughs> just him as a little kid, it was so cute. And it was, it was really sweet. It was really sweet. I haven't, you know, um, I'm <laughs> obviously far away from 11 and 12. So it's been a long time, but um, it was just a really, really great visit and mm. uh, a, a tremendous box. I loved it so much. And so I am now trying to work on um, cataloging them, putting in something that they'll stay nice and, uh, and all that. So, and it was on my Grammy's, it was on my Grammy's birthday, which took me like almost the whole day to realize, but. So. That is a very interesting synchronization <laughs> of meaning for you, no doubt. I'm so excited for you that you yeah. got all this yeah. family oh my gosh. Image, images and oh that my gosh. So that, fun. Yes. What a gift that is, you know? <laughs> to have that he was a cute down. little kid. I oh. want to go buy some, um, you know, fancy coats now for my son and take his picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now so your turn. For you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what is your other little sweet spot that you were going to have? My other Let's little sweet spot. One. I went shopping. I found some cosmic glue. I'm <laughs> not into slime. I'm not into doing all the slime stuff. But depending on, depending on the, the direction, it'll be red or it can be blue and of course red and blue make purple so it mostly looks purple but just to add this on to like birthday cards and signs and things oh, has been wow. so fun so sparkly <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking arts they and crafts going on here a little arts and crafts yes hands so. on creativity with a little sparkle. We all love a little sparkle, right? Oh my I'm gosh. so sparkly. I, know, really, I could I not not really buy it. Yes. Sparkle. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's helping. Um, what is, what is going to bring you I joy know. like that? I know. I wasn't planning on, I, I didn't even need anything down that aisle or whatnot. You know, there's a glut in the, in the middle of the hall. So you just scoot down another aisle. And then there it was. I thought, oh my gosh, I can't not buy this, you know? <laughs> So I it's going it to inspire me now. You run into something that you're not looking for, and yes, there it is. Yes, and you look yes. at it, and you're like, "Oh my goodness, I have to have that." <laughs> Who made this up? Yes. Why is it's this like, not nail like polish? A, you know, a tiny <laughs> indulgence, right? I know, right? Yes. You'll have to yes. Show us in future episodes. You'll have to show us what you did with it, so that we can exactly. see what it looks it's like fine. and. You know why so. it's so sweet for you and how how it actually looks when you use it. You'll have I'll to stand outside that. and I'll show it in the sunlight. Oh yes, pretty, yes. pretty, pretty. <laughs> that is delightful. So glad to hear that you found something that you can use in a in a a more direct, creative, hands-on way that will that will enhance the things that you're doing. In yes, your, yes, yes. Absolutely. I can't imagine being easier than squirting glue and then letting it dry. So yes, it was nothing, nothing uh, labor intensive. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, that's part of well, the- We're keeping it simple. simple. Yes, yes, exactly. You know, I, I have to say, before I show you my surprise of my sweet spot that I'm working with right now, I just want to emphasize the, you doing something to make something easier to me is huge. You know, whether it's moving something from one place to another so that it's easier to reach or just making something, you know, like breaking it down into smaller bits so that it, it's easier to accomplish. That, that's part of what I see when I think of the word simple is that you want to make things as easy for yourself as possible. Because I think that's really kind of like a way of doing self-care. Because when you're making things easier for yourself, then it makes it easier for you to do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? I was so just, I, I was just going to... Too. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I was just going to echo that because the simpler it is, the more likely you are to continue doing it, to continue using that thing, yep. and exactly. to continue incorporating it into your pattern, your schedule. Yes, so. your routine. Yep, exactly. The way you do things. It, it, it's easier to do something if you know it's easy. <laughs> yes. That's yes. And so that's why I say yeah, it's I like simple. that. We don't want to complicate matters. No. No. Complications no. don't work. Okay, right. so I am going to open my iPad and okay. I have a little surprise. Yes, it is still on. Okay, everybody ready? <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. This is a piano app that I got off the App Store. Yes. And I am using it. <laughs> to play melody. <laughs> Yay. Now, mind you, I have never played the piano before. This is a completely oh. new expansion, if you will, of my music. And I oh. don't know if everybody who would be watching this later or right now while we're live, we still have, we have at least one other person watching. Probably my daughter, Hannah, maybe. But anyway, and then there's also, uh, Teresa also came on too. Just want to say hi to oh. her. Hi. And to Susan for stopping by, who's going to watch hi. later. I saw, I gave her a like there. Just want to shout out to everybody who's hopped on. She's a hardworking lady. And She's got to get back to work. Yes, and I just want to tell you that um, I, I have a spiritual practice that I keep, and I write songs when I do my spiritual practice. And um, I mean, they're not, you know, necessarily lengthy, but they're like little courses that I write that I get from my studies and such. And so I've been doing that now for at least two years where I've been writing songs. I have like two and a half binders full of songs. Oh, I don't have them in the room. With I love me, it. I love yeah, it. Yes. I've been writing these songs for uh, like two and a half years now. And I just decided, you know what, I'm, I need to, to learn how to do something to make melody. And so I said to myself, well, there's no reason why you can't get an app. So I went to the app store to see if I could find something that was inexpensive or that I didn't have to pay for, even that's even better. And I got myself a piano app. <laughs> awesome. And I said to myself, I love that. there's no reason why I can't get on there and find the keys on the piano to play a melody right. of a song that I've written. And sure. I have a song that I, that I wrote called um, Because You. It's a song to spirit, basically. And what I did was I found the melody, I keyed it out on the piano, and I wrote down the key, the key uh, you know, which ones they are. Okay. Like okay. G3 or F, F4 or whatever it is, you know, to find it on the keyboard. And I figured the entire song out that way, which was very there you go. intensive. It was very intensive to do. It really was. But it was so exciting to be able yes. to figure out yes. where the keys go on this song. You know, like what would I play in order to play the melody of this song? And That's it took awesome. me a couple of weeks to get it all written down and figured out, you know, as I went. Because hey. I didn't do it every day. And, you know, it wasn't something that was, you know, it, it's like ongoing. It's like an ongoing project that I've been working yes, on. Yes. And so I figured, you know, if I can figure out how to play it on a keyboard, even if I make a lot of mistakes along the way, because I'm not, you know, I'm not a piano player, at least I can try. 
and see if it works. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I love oh, that. Oh my love goodness. It. It's so exciting, Carrie. You have no idea how exciting this has been for me. Like super much. Brian, welcome. I see you're watching. Hello. Hi, Brian. How are you? Keep it sweet, <laughs> Brian. Keeping it sweet. This is episode two. And me and yeah. Carrie are talking about how we're keeping it sweet right now. And she took her turn. And now I'm going to share. And I already shared. I'll share it again. I'll show it to you one more time. Piano app. It's cute. Yes. I don't have an actual keyboard just yet, like an actual physical keyboard to play on. Right. And right. my goal, of course, is to get one at some point, you know, but I figured, well, I'll start with what I've got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Keep it easy. Keep this. it easy. Keep it simple. Yep. There you go. <laughs> I'm keeping it simple. Right now, I'm just using right. an app. <laughs> And I'm really excited about it because I was able Aww. to figure out all the keys for a song that I, that I wrote in the last month or so. And I'm really excited about it. And I thought I would just play maybe, let me see. I'm going to turn up the volume. Okay, the volume's up all the way. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll play a key and you tell me if you can hear it. Did you yes. hear it? Can you yes. hear it? You can hear yes, it. Yes, that's fine. Yes. Okay, so... Oh, no, no, that's the wrong one. Hold on. I'm going to do it again. There we go. Did you hear that? Oh, okay. That's yep. like the first bar. That's like the first bar of the song. Isn't that so exciting? I'm like, yay. You did it. You did it. <laughs> I've been practicing this song. Not every not day. Okay. I don't always get to it, but like, you know, pretty frequently. You know, like when I'm just sitting in my chair relaxing after I've, you know, finished my work in the office, I often sit in my chair. Maybe I'll watch a show or something on my Amazon Prime. <laughs> and then when I'm Happy on, Prime I'm Day, by the way. Yes, and, I'll, and then I'll say, you know what, I'm going to practice my piano. So I pull it out and, and I bought this sheet. And I'll show it to you. I don't okay. Know if you can read it because it's backwards. But because anyway, you know, I, because I you tell me to. Yes, I literally. Oh, okay, you can read it. Face. I'm reading it backwards, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I literally Chill. have the words. See, I have the word, and then I have the keys right below it, so that when Correct. I play it, I can just read it and play it at the same time. It's a little dicey, but it works. And I'm starting to it's... memorize. I'm starting to memorize parts of it where I just know what comes next, you know, kind of thing. And right. of course, the more I do it, the better I get, you know. You know how they say practice makes perfect? So that's what I've been working on. It's so and exciting. That's, and, and the way that you have it is pretty much how I would do it on the guitar. So, yes, yeah, so you've got it, yeah. I know. I didn't want to try the guitar because I wasn't sure... This, if I would no. do with the strum versus the plucking, and uh, you know, I just it, didn't know if I would be able to handle that. So I figured this is a thousand are... times easier, not because of strumming or plucking, but building up your calluses to hold the string down, and even make the chord. So I, you've, I you've got it. So that's why you've got to keep it simple. Oh, piano keys aren't hard to touch, so I there's got to be a way. No, to exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> It's perfect. So, yes, I'm really excited to actually, I have the whole song figured out. And now Jessica, welcome Jessica, <gasps> who's watching. Glad to see you. Glad to have you aboard for Keeping It Sweet, where we talk hey. about all things simple, essential, and satisfying. Yes. Yeah. And Carrie shared about some things that are familial and artsy craftsy. And I'm sharing about something musical. Yay! She showed her <laughs> little blue bottle there. Okay. And this All right, is, go ahead. And this is the piano app that I've been working with. Whoops! <laughs> don't drop it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna drop it. No, I don't wanna <laughs> drop it. So yes, okay. it's very exciting to be able to play a song that I've written. I mean, yes. it's not perfect yes. yet. I don't have it, it all memorized. Doesn't... You know, you know, let uh, uh, musical note by musical note yet, but I'm working on it. It's I'm perfect working. as it is right now in this moment. Yes. Absolutely. I'm enjoying myself immensely. I really am. I'm having so much fun. And it's, it's really awesome. cool because I feel like it's time for me to expand my musical horizons a little bit and to try something new. And this is the perfect, perfect, you know, next step for me, I guess you could say. So, and I was oh, going to hey. say, you might even find 
Amy oh. Lawrence. Okay, I'm not sure if she is. Hi, Amy. I, I have a friend named Beth who I've known since we were kids. We grew up in the same church and went to the same school in elementary school. I'm not sure if that's her daughter or not, or her sister might be. Might be her. I don't. I don't know. It says Amy Doran, so I, that's why I'm thinking. Hi, Amy. Welcome to Keeping It Sweet with me and my dear, dear friend, Carrie Allenbacher. See, I can say that name so easily, can I? <laughs> Excellent, yes. And I was going to say, now that you have this app, you might find that while you're in your chair relaxing, that could it be that a melody might come to you that does not yet have words? You might start yeah. having some, the other way around, some creation. Mm, now that's an idea. You just never know. Where I just might be playing around with it and see what a comes happy, out. A happy melody might come out and you're like, man, now this needs words to it, you know? <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh my yeah. goodness, that sounds like a really great idea too. I'll have to let you know if anything comes out. I'm not out challenging you. Then. I don't want to stress you out. <laughs> Well, I've no got pressure. one song because of you that I've been working on for the last few weeks. And then okay. I also have another song that I wrote in the last two weeks. Um, let's see, what's the title of it again? Um, com I'm Coming, no, it's not I'm Coming Home. It has to be about going home or something. I'm Going okay. Home, I think. I'm not even sure. I forget what it's called. It's about home, though. And I really okay. like the rhythm of the song. It, it's very different from a lot of the other ones that I've written. And so I'm thinking that might be the next one that I try, you know, plucking out the melody okay. first to see, you know, what works, what doesn't yeah. kind of thing. But yes, it's been quite a challenge, but a good one. It's been a yeah. sweet challenge. You know how we have to stretch ourselves a little bit creatively. And when we try something that we've never tried before, you know, we have to give ourselves flexibility, you know, don't expect too much right away. You know, don't expect perfection but just have fun with it. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yes. I have no expectation at all. Okay, Hannah says she has to go. Love you. <laughs> oh, bye, Hannah. Yay, so she was on with us. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So anyway, so yeah, so. I should probably go a little further with it. Let's see. Isn't that lovely? I love it. Oh my goodness. I just love playing. It's so much fun. It, it really sounds is. good. It's a lot I like than that. But app, I have to too. the whole thing on here. <laughs> once I once I get it more mastered and I'm able to play it without too many errors I may hop on here one day or maybe I'll pre-record a video and play the song for everybody and then I'll post it here at some point in the, yeah. in the future I don't know when that's gonna happen <laughs> I'm not gonna give myself a deadline or anything but yeah it's, it's something that I can reach for it's a new goal that I can meet and, uh, Love and it. I'm able to play it while I sing it in my spiritual practice is even that to me is probably the sweetest part of it for me is being able to play it while I'm singing in my spiritual practice. It just really, uh, I've done that a couple of times already this week, which has been really exciting. So it, not only have I just practiced it, you know, like during times of the day where I'm just relaxing in my chair, mm, but right. now I'm also in court, I'm starting to bring it in and play yes. it during that yes. time. And that to me is like, Oh my gosh, I love doing this. So I know that I've really made a good a good choice for myself. You know what I mean? Like I know that this is the right yes. path for me. Yes. And it just feels right. good. And yes. I'm so glad I was able to share it with you today live on our It's Kingdom resonating. Show. Yes. Yeah, I'm so excited about it. I really I'm am. Glad. And I'm looking forward to, to going further with it and trying new songs as well, you know, other than this one, once I get it down. <laughs> sure. Awesome. I love it. That was love my it. big secret for keeping it sweet. I was so excited to share it on here with my So I hope you guys enjoyed our time together. And thank you so much for what you shared, Carrie, and for being my co-host, close friend who is dear to me. We're always saying hello behind the scenes. It's wonderful. So anyway, so you guys are welcome to check out any links that we provide below. I will 
uh, share my most recent blog post about uh, my watercolor experimentation, which I just published yesterday. So I will share that below, and I will share Carrie's website as well below in the, in the uh, comments. So be sure to check that out. And if you want to know how I'm keeping it sweet with my seven favorite sweet spots, I'll also provide a link for that too. Is there anything, Carrie, that you want to share before we? I was just going to say, I hope that even in the replay, that everyone will let us know how they're keeping. Yes, it sweet. exactly. Yes. Thanks for the reminder. I love hearing that. Absolutely. Love that. Whatever you guys yes. are doing to keep it sweet, do leave a comment and let us know because we'd love to hear about your sweet spots because when we share our sweet spots in community it makes the whole world a better place Yay! It's sweet. and we can all use a lot more sweet right <laughs> <laughs> i need it <laughs> oh our hearts go out to oh. those who are dealing with a lot of stress or difficulties with illness anxiety fires or there's anxiety whatever, going whatever, all over whatever tumultuous stuff is going on in your life we yes we just want to wish you as much sweetness as you can get. Oh, <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yes. We want to keep yes. everybody in mind because I know that we're all dealing with things that are difficult and challenging right now. And that's one of the reasons why we decided to, to actually host this so that we can yes. share our suite and everybody else has an opportunity to do the same thing and we can make the world a sweeter place, especially when there's yep. a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself permission to have a few minutes of your day to do something simple that makes you happy. If it's playing with Legos, it's playing with Legos. If it's drawing, it's to, if it's baking yourself some cookies or one of those cups that you can put in the microwave for two minutes and then and with two tablespoons of water and you have yourself a hot cookie. I mean, <laughs> whatever it might be that even if you feel silly, give yourself permission, take a deep breath. It's okay. You're not silly. It's okay. It's, it's, if it's resonating with you, then it's something that is uh, bringing you to your more authentic self. Yeah. And there's there nothing wrong with that. And Puts even you in that little bit in the moment. day. Yeah. Yes. As many present moments as you can get and make it yes. as sweet as you can every moment, right? As yeah. sweet as you can make it. Exactly. And that, in, that includes a chocolate chip cookie, then there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Carrie, it has been a delight uh, having you with me as we co-hosted Yay. this uh, episode two of Keeping It Sweet. And we wish you all a wonderful, terrific Tuesday. And don't forget to keep it sweet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys Bye, later. Buddy. Thanks for watching and joining yeah. us and on the replay. Say hello to replay viewers, too. You have a great day, yep. and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Okay,